Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In the introduction tutorial for Screenium, I taught the basics of this very powerful screencasting application for macOS. In this advanced tutorial, we're going to learn how to record and what you can record on your Apple TV. We'll talk about more advanced recording configurations for the keyboard, desktop, and especially mouse click visualizations. We'll have a lot more interaction with the Attributes Inspector as we explore these different options. We'll learn how to add still frames to your videos and a really nifty feature called Smart Zoom. We'll learn how to animate shapes, text, and other objects. I'll show you how to add generated speech and subtitles in multiple languages to your videos. And then we'll dive into video and audio effects. In the basics tutorial, we covered how to capture an area of the screen. There's a lot more settings available to you. You can see the dimensions of the area that'll be recorded and the location of that area to be recorded. We can change the value simply by typing here. I could type in 100, for example, and I'll hit tab and you'll see that the location moved to a precise location. I can go into settings and be much more specific. I can not only define the X and Y positions, but I can define the width and height exactly. So let's change that, say, to 400. We can change which display we're using to capture the area. And let me go back into settings again. We can lock the aspect ratio if we choose. And we can choose 4 by 3, 16 by 9, or we can edit those ratios and add our own. Let's deselect this. Under Dimension Preset, you can see the industry standards for things like VGA and PAL and NTSC. We can also save our own settings. Let's go into Save Settings, and I can give it a name. Now, there's a little bit of a bug here. You can save position, but the position doesn't actually work properly. So let me deselect that, and we'll just save the size at 533 by 400. So I'll tap Save, and now let's just move this around and make it a completely different dimension. And when I go into Settings, I can go to Dimension Preset, and I can choose Mine. And now it goes back to the dimensions I had, 533 by 400. Now in this case, I might need to move it around. I can go into Manage Settings, and I can delete those presets. Let's remove that. Finally, we have Action Title Safe Areas. The use of safe areas in television production ensures that the most important parts of the picture are seen by the majority of viewers. This was more of a concern with older televisions before flat panel TVs, but if you have a requirement for maintaining safe areas, Screenium can show these on screen for you while you record. So let's go ahead and turn those on. And you can see highlighted safe areas. Let's turn those off. And finally, we can choose whether or not to show the recording area while recording. Let's deselect that, and I'm going to cancel out of area. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.